Hi everybody, it's Miss Carol. It's Thursday night, so that means pajama story time. Are you guys ready? All right, let's clap, clap, a clap, 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 a clap, and a clap, and a clap, and a clap. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed. Hello everybody, yes indeed, yes indeed, my darling. Excellent job, excellent, excellent. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about manners and pleases and thank yous and yeah, that stuff. All right, so I need everybody to stand up and we're gonna run. So everybody run and you're gonna go upstairs and you're gonna go downstairs and in your nightgown. So just go like that with your nightgown and knocking on the window. Can you knock on the window? And peering through the lock and are you ready you ready all right we willy winky run through the town upstairs downstairs in his nightgown knocking on the window crying through the lock you ready everybody go hello are the children in their bed for now it's eight o'clock all right let's do that again you ready run 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 we willy winky run through the town upstairs downstairs in his nightgown knocking on the window yelling through the lock hello are the children in their beds for now it's eight o'clock all right excellent job all right so i have two stories today as usual and the first one is called Mind Your Manners, B.B. Wolf. And this is written by Judy Sierra and brought to you today by Alfred A. Knopf Publishers. One morning, B.B. Wolf huffed and puffed up the hill to his mailbox. <laughs> bills, 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 he growled. Mm-mm-mm. And something else. What was in the mysterious envelope? You're invited. Please come to the library to the Tuesday at three. We're having our annual storybook tea. Your special friend, Miss Wonderly. Should I go? B.B. Wolf asked his best friend. I don't think I like tea. You don't go to a tea for the tea, replied the crocodile. You go to a tea for the cookies. Cookies, murmured B.B. Wolf longingly. You'll have to behave yourself, the crocodile warned. B.B. Wolf chewed the end of his tail nervously. His friend consulted an etiquette book. Sip your tea, don't slurp, the crocodile read. If you burp, say excuse me. Baby Wolf made up a song to help himself remember. Sip your tea and never slurp. Say excuse me if you burp. On Tuesday afternoon, Baby Wolf put on his best jacket. How do I look, he asked. Dashing, declared the croc. Now smile. Have a good time. Don't bite anyone. Baby Wolf loped along the sidewalk, twirling his cane and singing, Sip your tea and never slurp. Say excuse me when you burp. Smile and have a lot of fun, but don't go biting anyone. Baby Wolf took a deep breath and opened the library door. Everyone turned to look at him. He smiled nervously. What a big smile you have, exclaimed a girl in a red cape. The better to greet you with, my dear, B.B. Wolf replied. B.B. Wolf was beginning to have fun. How do you do, Mr. Wolf, said a tall woman. I am Miss Wonderly, the librarian. Would you like some tea? Yes, please, said, Mr. said B.B. Wolf, looking around for cookies. 
Miss Wonderly poured a cup of tea. Carefully, B.B. Wolf lifted the cup to his lips. Did he slurp? Nope. He sipped slowly and quietly, still looking around for cookies. After his third cup of tea, Bebe's, Bebe Wolf's tummy felt funny and made a noise. <laughs> Bad luck. He'd forgotten what to say if he burped. Bebe Wolf bent over the library computer. E T I Q U E T T E. Etiquette, he typed, then hurried to the right shelf. He grabbed a book and poured through the pages, looking for the magic words. Do you remember the magic words? Excuse me? Burp! Books bounced. Windows rattled. Walls shook. Run, run as fast as you can, screamed the gingerbread boy. Run right back here, called Miss Wonderly. B.B. Wolf, giggled the three little pigs. You almost blew down the library. What good manners you have, exclaimed Miss Wonderly. Most people don't say excuse me until after they burp. B.B. Wolf smiled from ear to ear. Let the good times roll, he crooned. He strolled around the library and talked to everyone. Looking good, gingerbread boy, Baby Wolf slapped the little guy on the back. Did anyone ever tell you that you smell delicious? Just like a cookie? Cookie, said Miss Wonderly. She held out a tray of tiny gingerbread people. Oh, dear me, no, gasped Baby Wolf. I could never bite a cute little gingerbread boy. Mr. Wolf, exclaimed Miss Wonderly. You are so kind and sensitive. Storybooks don't do you justice. At five o'clock, Miss Wonderly slipped a paper bag into B.B. Wolf's paws. Enjoy these later, she said, and thank you for coming to the library. The children love reading about you. You're welcome, said B.B. Wolf. I'll drop by one day and tell you how these stories really happened. A happy old wolf loped home, munching songs as he sang, munching cookies as he sang. Even in a house of bricks, big bad wolves can learn new tricks. Sip your tea and never slurp. Say excuse me if you burp. Smile and have a lot of fun, but don't go biting anyone. The end. Did you guys like that one? I hope so. Okay, well, I have another song. And this one's about a little girl who um, is eating some food. And it's always nice to share. But when the person you're sharing with scares you, it's a little scary. So, you ready? Everybody take your bowls and pretend you're eating. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. That's all you pretty much need for this one. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Is it gone? I don't like spiders. Is it gone? Okay. Can you hear that again? I think so. You ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Spiders. Why does it have to be spiders? Why couldn't it be butterflies? All right. All right. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Okay. Looks like it's gone. All right, I have another story. No spiders in this one. This one's called, Please, Mr. Panda. It's by Steve Anthony, not Anthony, Anthony. And it's brought to you today by Scholastic Press Publishers. 
Would you like a donut? Mm, give me the pink one. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No, go away. Would you like a donut? Oh, I want them all. Then bring me some more. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Would anyone else like a donut? Hello. May I have a donut? Please, Mr. Panda. I think he said the magic word. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I love donuts. You're welcome. I do not like donuts. The end. All right. I hope you enjoyed that one. All right. Now, let's get you all worked up before you go to sleep. <laughs> go figure that one out. You ready? We're going to stand up and we have to march. You ready? So we're going to march, march, march. You know what? We'll march this way. March, 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 march. And then we'll march this way. March, 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 march. All right, I don't know if all of you, if you're seeing all of me, but okay. All right, there we go. You ready? The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops. Stuck a stump. And the ants go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah. Hurrah, the ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie a shoe. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops and closes the door. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah. Hurrah, the ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching five by five. The little one starts to do a jive. Dun, 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 And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, 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 bum. I hope you like that one. I, uh, that was a good workout, huh? All right, you guys ready? So our last song for the night. Ready? Fingers up. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right. Hope you guys have a good night. See you soon. Have fun.